All right, so before I actually get into the topic of why I'm making this specific video, I want to backtrack a little bit and talk a little bit about that COVID-19 video I made, where the majority of people actually understood the premise of it. They understood the reason behind it, uh, which was to just get a little bit of information out there, some factual data from people in the field, uh, s s these actual doctors who are treating patients, who are seeing people come in and out from this thing, and taking the data from a lot of the studies from different states and putting it all together for everybody to understand a little bit more properly. Uh, the majority of the people understood that that was put together and meant to get people to stop panicking so much, to stop thinking the world's going to come to an end. Um, and that's, that never meant that this thing was fake. That never meant that this thing isn't a big deal. It doesn't mean that this thing uh, isn't dangerous for some people, which is, obviously we know the vulnerable. We know the people with pre-existing conditions, the people getting up there in age, the diabetes, uh, the people who are overweight. You know, this is going to attack you type of people or those type of people a little bit differently than it would, you know, some of the ever, ever, everyday younger folk in the, in the country. Um, so the numbers actually support that by quite a bit. Um, so all that data was put there for you guys to be able to digest it a little bit, see it. That wasn't me saying, this is what's going on. This is the data that I found. No, this is just what they presented. This is what the doctors had showed. Um, but I thought it was pretty funny, some of the comments that I got. There were still maybe a dozen or so people, um, and, um, you know, a couple people that unsubscribed from the channel because they, well, for whatever reason, I don't know, don't support that uh, I'm trying to be more positive about this. I don't know. People don't make sense to me sometimes. But uh, some people were making comments like, uh, you know, stick to bowling. You're not a, you're not a, you're not a, uh, an expert in the field. I'm like, well, I don't have to be an expert in the field. Well, you shouldn't be talking about things that you don't know anything about. I never claimed to be an expert, first of all. Um, and second of all, everything that I talked about came straight from the doctors. Those people who actually put the data together, who've discovered the data, uh, and are treating patients, are seeing patients with COVID-19 every day, they are the ones that put this together. This is what they said. I'm relaying their message. Well, just because you quote an expert doesn't make you an expert. What in the world are you talking? What world are you living in? Like, I don't have to be an expert to be able to quote experts. I don't have to be an expert to relay the information that the experts are trying to relay to people. Like, I was just being an outlet for people to be able to see these things. And y'all are going to take it out on me for giving you information that you may not have seen otherwise. Like, let's be honest here. And just because you disagree with their information, for whatever reason that is, I have no idea how you could ever disagree with stats, data, stuff that is factual being presented to you and try to say that it's uh, agenda-driven somehow. Like, what, what could they, how could they just make up that data? These are studies that they didn't do. These are studies that came from four different schools and states and other different places that all agree and say the same thing that the amount of people have already had this thing is astronomical compared to the number that they're actually projecting out to us. So that means the mortality rate is way lower than what they're actually telling you. And that's so that we need to stop fearing so much about getting this virus. Um, the fear in this whole thing, as everybody already understands, is, is actually giving it to those who are vulnerable. We need to put guidance in place to make sure we are not giving it to people that are vulnerable. That doesn't mean shutting the entire country down. That just means that we need to figure out a way to keep the vulnerable safe and keep the economy going and stimulated. That's it. We don't need to panic. We don't need to fear anything. But man, you some of these people who were coming on here and saying, well, you're not an expert. Well, no kidding, I'm not an expert. I never claimed to be an expert. I don't have to be an expert to relay information. You want to take the information? Go for it. I'm giving it to you. That's it. Simple as that. And just because I, I do majority of stuff about bowling on this channel, this is my personal channel. It was originally meant for stuff like this, for, for every day I was going to do bowling and I was going to do a lot of life situational stuff. There's a reason I called it Life's Traction Control because I was going to do all those types of things. I was going to do a lot of motivational type stuff. But then I just got thrown into the bowling thing. Then I got thrown into, well, you need to be doing more of this and this and this. And I just kind of haven't done more of the life's traction control stuff. So anyway, that's all I got on that. But here's the re main reason for this video. Tonight at 7 o'clock, we're going live uh, on the Bowler X channel. We're going live with me and Lee Sant. And we're going to talk about a pretty controversial subject that you're not going to want to miss. 
Uh, you're going to want to make sure you're beyond there. We're going to answer your questions. Uh, you're going to be able to go on to the chats. It's going to be on YouTube and it's going to be on Facebook Live. So you can either go on one or the other, but it's on the Bowler X channel, 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're going to be talking. One of the subjects is going to be about uh, why your layout or why layouts in general aren't really as meaningful as what they're portrayed to be to you. Uh, so basically, it's going to say that uh, your layouts, they don't really mean as much as what you think they do. And we're going to talk about that in depth a little bit tonight, so you're not going to want to miss that. But uh, I just wanted to touch on that, make sure people knew about that, that we were doing that tonight. Uh, and you can head over to that channel and do all the good stuff over there. Um, uh, and maybe I'll share that video on this channel for those of you who, for some reason, didn't go over and, and subscribe to the Bowler X channel or don't see it. Um, make sure to head over to Facebook and uh, like the Bowler X channel uh, page over on Facebook as well, uh, Instagram as well. Uh, and I will see you guys a little bit later. Um, for anybody that got offended from the beginning of this video, I mean, I don't know what more to tell you. I'm trying to be as honest as I possibly can with you about this entire thing. And I think there's an awful lot of people who are trying to be as honest as they can. And then there's a lot of people who are trying to be dishonest. There's a lot of people who are, you know, they're just stuck in their ways or stuck in the mindset of, oh, no, this thing's dangerous. We're all going to die uh, because that's what the media says. I mean, just we, I, I wish I could just help people open their eyes a little bit more. I'm not trying to say that you need to um, not be scared. I'm not trying to say that you need to not live with precautions and take precautions in your everyday life because of something like this going on. I'm just saying that uh, I don't think you need to lock yourself in your home uh, and studies are showing that that's the case. So anyway, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.